Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord cause his countenance to rise over you and the Lord give you peace. Brothers and sisters, I want to share with you today about the waiting. Oh my gosh, have you ever received a prophetic word and it's like, come on Lord God, when's this going to happen? It's like you get the word Total excitement comes, and now you've got to sit and wait. I want to share with you about how to wait effectively and how to bring the prophetic word into operation and into reality. Prophetic waiting, I'm using notes, guys, so I don't want to chase a rabbit, and I, I want to do this systematic because I know it's going to be a blessing for you. So once again, I just want to say thank you for joining. Press that share button. But yeah, prophetic waiting is the gap between the position of the promise and the promise being fulfilled. I'm going to say that again slowly. Prophetic waiting is that gap, it's that space between receiving the prophetic word and then having the prophetic word become real reality. What do we do in that time period? I've heard people say, well, if it's a word from God, it'll happen. So I'm just going to shelve it. Uh, Never, 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 never. That's not the way to do it. No, no, no. Prophetic waiting releases decreed and declared words from God for the spiritual realm to be made manifest in the natural realm. Okay, let me say that again. A prophetic waiting process is to receive that prophetic word, that decree, that declaration that the Father spoke. Okay, for the duration of this word, same word now being made manifest. In other words, prophetic waiting is like the bridge from the now to the then. <coughs> Excuse me. Prophetic waiting is a prerequisite for all prophets. Oh my hat. The training acronym, PIT, P-I-T, Prophets in Training, is, is an experience that we all will have to go through. Not only you as the prophetic person, but also the recipient who's going to receive the message that the Lord's giving to you. Joseph was in the pit. Okay. Moses was in the desert. Paul was in the prison. Uh, John was on the Isle of Patmos. Um, Jesus was in the wilderness. And we can go on. David was in the cave of Abdullam. And, and you know, consider David for a moment. He had everything going for him. He had the good looks. He had the music ability, he had the great character trait, he was a good leader, he had all of these things, but it wasn't enough for the fulfillment to come to pass. Something else had to transpire in his life. He had to learn to look for God in Psalm 34. In Psalm 57, he had to learn to toughen up. And also in Psalm 142, he had to learn to be open with God. God does not get intimidated. When you fall apart and have, have had enough of the waiting. God, I can't wait anymore. God's not going to fall off his throne. God is sovereign. God is so good. God will give you the strength to be sustained. And God has called you to be an overcomer. So let's have a look at this quickly. Six ways to wait. Seek the Lord concerning the condition of waiting. Don't just sit back and siri sarah, whatever happens will happen. No. Ask the Lord what you need to do in your cave of Abdullam, in your wilderness, in your desert place, in your pit. Ask the Lord what you need to be doing at that particular moment. We all go through this. And then I think the next the next point of of the waiting is contend for your waiting. 1 Timothy 1.18, Paul says to Timothy, Timothy, my son, wage your warfare. Fight over the prophecies that have been given to you. Then treasure the waiting. Literally treasure it. Luke 2 verse 19, Mary got this mes message from the Lord and she pondered it in her heart. She treasured it. She just didn't let it sit there as a back afterthought. She meditated on it, treasured it, pondered the word. Then know his will in the waiting. Seek the will of God. And don't just sit back on your laurels, but contend for it and ponder it. Meditate on it and know the will of the Lord, because there's a purpose in the waiting. 
Know his word during the waiting. Don't let the word that has been given to you be sidelined. I've heard people say, you know what, you can shelve the prophetic word. When you get a prophetic word, just put it over there. If it's God, it'll come to pass. That's not correct. When you get a prophetic word, fight over it, contend it, and then ponder it in your heart like Mary did. Another one is know the way. Know the way of the Lord through the waiting. There are times where in my waiting where I will, I will get into worship. And then other times I will get into a, a fast because I need this mountain removed. I need the obstacles removed. Other times I'll make declarations, speaking to the mountain to be removed. Other times I will be calling this thing to come forth, this paralyzed message. I know it's the word of God and I'm calling Lazarus out and I'm saying, live dry bones, live. Now the benefits of waiting is purifying like silver. And sometimes it really, really gets hot in the waiting. You know God has spoken this message to you and it just seems like the reverse is taking place. Well, that's okay because it's to purify you like silver. And I know I've been there myself where, where, the, end, where the promise is so good and then, and then the pressure comes and it's, and it's intense. It builds testimony. It strengthens you. It builds endurance. It unlocks destiny. It prepares for the next generation. Its motivation gets tested. The very motivation of the word, 1 Corinthians 10, the very intention of the word gets tested and your heart gets tried. True character is revealed. I'm speaking from my own experience on these things. And God will speak to you during this process. I don't know what you're waiting for right now, what prophetic words you've received, but I really want to encourage you. Contend for it and ponder it in your heart. Don't shelve it. Let me pray with you. Father God, we call on you right now. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God, that the waiting for a prophetic word which has been received to become materialized, to become my reality, Lord, will not be something I will just put aside. I will contend over it, I will fight over it, wage warfare over it, and I will keep it pondered in my heart. I'll keep on thinking about it. I pray for you right now that you will not give up. You will be an overcomer. The Lord be with you. The Lord strengthen you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. And the Lord cause his countenance to rise over you. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you. Thank you for joining. God bless you. Catch up tomorrow.